looking forward to now just really getting started. I came into this really nervous. Like I said, it's out of my comfort zone. But the support that we've had and the processes that are in place and the method that's been delivered, it's improved, increased my confidence um, magnitudes. And I really just want to get started and go start talking to schools and introducing what we have to offer because I really believe in the vision here of what we are delivering to the children. I think just getting started, yeah, just, just getting started really. And everything that we've learned, putting it into practice, seeing how it goes and seeing how, how far we can take this. I definitely feel excited, a little, mixed with a little bit of trepidation, but excited. And the thing I'm most looking forward to is the challenge of actually making a success of this. Sky's the limit. The future I'm looking forward to the most, changing the world, changing the world. This is how we're going to do it. So sky's the limit, I'm really excited, so. Very excited indeed. I think that's the, probably the thing that excites us the most is the fact that we are actually going into schools and actually really making a difference uh, in kids' lives where their futures can be shaped, uh, not uh, only uh, indirectly through what we're saying, but actually directly through the skills that we're actually imparting to them as well, actually building their future and their potential careers as well. What is up, data homies? It is your boy Justin Pacetti back again with another Theta Token video, another Theta Token update. As you can tell with the introduction as well as the title and headline for this video, you can probably assume as what we are talking about. One of more recent partnerships with Theta Network in Jam Coding. I tried to search up a couple things on Google for like really quickly, but I haven't found too much details of it other than what's kind of already introduced in the article. But like you saw in the beginning of the introduction of the video, a little bit more optimism. I believe I found the correct video for what jam coding is just because I know it said South Korea but the video that I was able to show was from the United Kingdom so we'll see if those are going to be affiliated with each other in some sort of aspect so I'm hoping so so guys definitely do your own research before investing so starting with the news we're going to go on X and then go on from there here as you can tell jam coding one of South Korea's leading coding programs has signed on as an edge cloud AI corporate customer this multi-year agreement uses edge cloud distributed GPU for AI education model training and open source AI development they're going to mention in the universities that are already affiliated with Theta, I believe the ones I could remember, Yanzai, Keist, and Seoul Women's University. To my knowledge, those are the three public universities that have been announced by Theta as well as this new onboarding with Jam Coding. Just going on to Mitch and GE just to see what they've highlighted. They kind of just reiterated some big points that was already introduced in the article if you already read it. Seeing here that Mitch posted, one of the fastest growing in-person and online coding franchises, Jam Coding is adopting Edge Cloud for AI and e-learning programs. 500 billion USD market today, growing to over 1.4 trillion USD by 2031 just getting started theta network and of course those are just estimates i believe for the future just predicting how e-learning is going to be growing i do feel like not just also e-learning just for regular students but also like businesses corporations marketing teams things like that just learning how things are online is just so much more quicker more time efficient just easy to get everyone on board rather than going to a facility and then just sitting in a room for hours for like onboarding is my own opinion but for those who have their own thoughts and comments you're more than welcome to drop those down below. Jam Coding operates across nine retail locations in Korea and offers courses online for a digital global audience. Theta Network Edge Cloud will soon be used by thousands of Jam Coding students. Welcome aboard Jam Coding. So based on what I'm reading, it looks like nine retail locations in South Korea. So I don't believe there may have been any outside of that country, but I could be wrong. Put some thoughts and comments down below, but we're actually going to go onto the article itself just so we get a little more familiar with how this partnership is going to be affiliated with Theta and the whole ecosystem. So if you haven't yet and you're trying to find as much Theta news, updates, NFTs, or any kind of Theta partnerships, please hit that like and subscribe button. Continuing on to the article, we are probably going to highlight most of it. So for those, it's going to be a little more of a traditional video that I made in the past. So hopefully you guys can still enjoy what I am reading. So as you can tell, this was posted about one day ago, so around September 15th, 16th of 2024. You can see the logo that's listed right here. They're excited to announce Jam Coding. Oh, I guess here's the website right here, so we can take a look on that later. One of South Korea's leading online and in-person coding programs has signed an, an, as an Edge Cloud AI corporate customer. This multi-year agreement seeks to utilize Theta Edge Cloud's distributed GPU resources to support multiple student applications, including general AI education, model training, and open source AI development. Jam Jam Coding, also known as Fun Coding in Korean, operates across nine retail learning locations and offers online courses to students globally. So maybe potentially that there, that previous video I showed you guys in the introduction could potentially be affiliated with this article. With 
thousands of students around the world, Jam Coding has built a stellar reputation for delivering impressive results. To date, more than 170 pens have been registered by Jam Coding students, showcasing their innovation and creativity. Additionally, over 40 students have gained admission to these prestigious universities, such as Columbia, New York, London School of Economics, Seoul National University, KAIST, while over 70 students have earned awards in Korean Olympiad in Informatics and other international and national coding competitions. Jam Coding students have secured 116 admissions to gifted education programs, solidifying the institution's standing as a leader in coding education. And I believe this is all online, it's just more impressive. I feel like homeschooling could be a way for this to be implemented more so in the near future, just at least in the United States based on my own opinion. I used to coach volleyball when I was like off right off the of nursing school. So I would do nursing in the day and then coaching in the afternoon. Kind of seems like nowadays what I've noticed with some friends who are even teachers, it's kind of like just you're really babysitting. I know it may sound kind of bad and maybe there's some teachers who are watching these videos, but that's just my own opinion based on what I'm seeing in the United States for just like daily babysitting. I feel like students may not be getting the correct education that they should be getting. I feel like they're just kind of just going through a school system and then when they reach college or young adulthood, they still haven't really learned anything that could be applied in real life. Just my own opinion. I could be wrong. Please, if you have any other comments about what I just mentioned about the education, comment down below. The global e-learning market, including online and in-person coding programs, is over 500 US billion dollars today and expected to reach 1.4 trillion in 2031. Fueled by increasing demand for technical skills, including AI across industries, Edge Cloud is poised to be captured a large part of the market segment's hyper growth. Through this partnership, GM Coding will, will gain access to scalable and the most cost-effective option for integrating AI into the curriculum design, utilizing flexible on-demand GPU resources for Edge Cloud to meet the evolving demands of AI education. This places GM Coding at the forefront of AI-powered education, empowering them to provide students with a more personalized and effective learning experience. So under my own understanding, it kind of sounds like they're a little bit replacing some of the teacher's work so that they can have a certain class and then have like a syllabus for that teaching plan, I guess, for the day, at least an outline of it. And then the teacher could just guide it and like just make sure the AI is doing the right thing is what I am understanding. I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like. As one of the fastest growing in-person and online coding franchises in Korea, Jam Coding educators and students need the most cost-effective and on-demand access to GPU support various AI education programs, said Ju Hyung Cha, CEO of Jam Coding. Edge Cloud stands out as the easiest to use and fastest onboard GPU resource provider compared to other cloud providers, and delivers the best price to performance, allowing them to aggressively expand their business over the next five years. So I'm assuming if it's five years, I'm assuming that's how long the partnership is. I feel like they network they are very hush about how long these multi-year agreements are but based on this quote i'm assuming it's five years i could still be wrong though edge cloud powered by over 30,000 distributed edge nodes and cloud partners including google cloud and amazon web services offering over 80 petaflops of always available distributed gpu compute power this vast resource pool enables enterprises academic institutions and, st and startups alike to overcome the limitations of traditional in-house gpu clusters which are often costly to maintain and challenging the scale. With these advantages, Edge Cloud has gained significant traction in the academic space recently with Seoul Women's University, KAIS, and Yanzai, each announcing they are utilizing Edge Cloud distributed infrastructure to their advanced AI research, SWU's AI to Everything lab, under the leadership of Professor Min Seo Park, plans to leverage Theta Edge Cloud hybrid cloud edge AI computing platform to drive research in healthcare, bioinformatics, and finance. And of course, we do know that Theta Network in some sort of way is affiliated with healthcare. Bioinformatics, I feel like they kind of go hand in hand and finance is kind of just like a new step i'm not too sure how this is going to be utilized with theta but i mean like i have an idea of how it's going to be utilized but i haven't heard anyone more specific bring up anything about finance and theta technology being used for that purpose building on that recent success in academia theta is quickly expanding into the corporate and enterprise customer segments with jam coding so i feel like this is the purpose the more adoption that we are lo all looking for especially myself i feel like it starts with universities then seeks leaks into businesses and then it just goes like wildfire I've mentioned that in a previous video that whole global adoption is what we're all looking for when it comes to theta and that technology it looks like the use case is there and fingers crossed we're just going to see more news about it being utilized and I'm hoping to see some demos of some 
sort when it comes to these universities using this technology but that's just something i would like to see in the near future put some thoughts and comments what you would like to see in the near future going on to the website here we're just going to see here is what is highlighted and hi hyperlinked in the beginning it says a coding academy a coding academy proven by results recommended by parents and students even at this moment jam coding is building your child's achievements so you can see proven by results you can go through all these quotes you can see some of the things that are just highlighted in the beginning the curriculum jam coding distinctive specialty student reviews from school competitions to admissions so you can see even some of the examples from these individuals who are listing it so seeing here just like their testaments i guess you could say based on the experience that they've had on this website or this platform so all together if you guys want to look at more of these testaments you're more than welcome to i just wanted to highlight what we just read the article introduce the video for you guys as well as just seeing what the network and the community is going to be involved with so so far it looks like a lot of education that's i feel like is a good stomping ground and just to help build from there so overall that's all i really have for today's video guys thank you so much if you're an og viewer and subscriber and coming back to the channel would not be here without you guys if you're a new viewer trying to find as much data news updates nfts or any kind of paid partnerships please hit that like and subscribe on check out all the links down below in the description for all the links i post in this video along with staking your theta tokens to my guardian node or staking your tfuel tokens to my elite edge node i feel like the elite edge node might be full because there's a total of 500,000 that could be staked so please check out that theta guardian node if you want to stake your theta tokens because either way you're going to help out my channel help out the theta network but overall help yourselves out earn as much tfuel passively as possible and utilize it however you want on theta drop open theta any of the sub chains on theta network or just withdrawing it back to your wallet really i'm looking forward to more universities and hopefully more businesses but until the next video until the next theta update guys it is your boy justin Bassetti. so try to keep up all right deuces